What is up everyone? Welcome to today's video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best settings possible out of the Runcam 5 Orange. So hit that subscribe button, like the video, and let's get into it. Alright, so what we got here is the Runcam 5 Orange. This is a great camera. Uh, I got this because I couldn't afford a GoPro because I am poor. But, I'll leave that aside. When it comes to the Runcam 5 Orange, or any action camera at that, it's best to get a super flat profile so that it allows you a lot more flexibility in post-processing, whether you're using something like Final Cut or Premiere Pro. And uh, I'm not going to go too much into the camera. It's This video isn't going to be a review on it, but I will be doing a follow-up video on owning this for a year now and my thoughts on it and uh, more of an in-depth review of the settings and functions that come with this camera. So without further ado, with the Runcam 5 Orange you do need to use an app. It uses QR code configuration and it looks something like this. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Alright, well I'll just go through them. I got the uh, video quality set to high loop recording off, resolution is 4K at 30 frames per second, extended view, uh, volume is on FPV so it's not noisy. Now I use the 180 degree shutter rule for this, 1 60th of a second for the shutter speed with a ISO sensitivity locked at 100 and a flat color profile. These are just the basic video settings. And the reason I use 1 60th of a second is because you want to have your shutter speed double the frame rate that you're shooting at so 30 frames per second 1 60th of a second so I got distortion correction off uh, for the general settings I got saturation on low zero for exposure compensation low contrast medium sharpness average metering mode auto white balance because you could fix the uh, white balance if you want to and post-processing Low light enhancement is off, auto shutdown is off, and I'm running the power supply frequency at 60 hertz. So this gives you a really, really flat color profile. And uh, we'll jump into Premiere Pro here and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we're here in Premiere Pro. And you can see right here, this is the first clip. I put two clips side by side so you can see the difference. This is without color correction. This is all my settings, which looks like crap, but it makes it so much easier to color grade and bring all the natural colors out of the image. So this is my preferred method. Uh, this works for me. Now, if you wanted, you could go ahead and try to just use the uh, on-camera saturation and see how you like that. I mean, if you don't feel like doing any post-processing, that's probably the best route to go but these are the settings that I use and it works out really well for me in the videos that I get off of this camera. Now you notice that uh, on the flat color profile it is extremely flat and honestly on normal profile color profile I believe it's still pretty flat but I like to get it the flattest as possible with zero saturation so that I can add all that in sharpness and everything in post-processing and turns out looking pretty good in my opinion so those are my settings I hope you guys uh, thought this was helpful if you picked up the Runcan 5 Orange it is a great camera um, especially for the form factor and the weight it barely weighs anything but uh, I'll go through more of the specs in the next video when I do the review of this uh, so if you want to give this, these settings a shot and you feel like doing some post-processing in Premiere Pro or what other f video editing program you're using, I definitely recommend it. And uh, take it easy, guys. I'll see you in the next video.